And hello, sports fans. Welcome to the Thunder Weekly. I'm Rick Keith. With me, Al Eschbach. And Al, we are at a fun place, a fun family atmosphere at Sam's Optical here on South Walker in Oklahoma City. I love listening to the jukebox out here. I got the best music around. Well, yeah, the music you grew up with right Absolutely. here on the jukebox. And anybody that wants to can come it's, in while they're looking for, some, you know, the frames for their eyeglasses. They can put the music it, it's, on. It's a neat place. It, it really is. is. And nice people out here, too. Yeah, fun family uh, run business that's a lot of fun here at Sam's Optical I 240 and South Walker. Uh, a lot of fun. And it's, speaking of a lot of fun, the Thunder are having a lot of fun now that they've dodged that bullet, knowing that Russell Westbrook is not as hurt as it looked when they walked off uh, the game against the Toronto Raptors. Yeah, that was a scary situation. All of a sudden, you're going. Goodbye, any chance of playing for a championship. Uh, and uh, it, it's still going to be interesting to see how he progresses or when he's going to start playing you know, 40 minutes. Because in the playoffs, they're going to need him in some of these games to play more than 30 minutes or so. And uh, sitting out all the back to backs. And uh, you got you to get him back at, at 100%. Well, you know, at some point, they're going to say, hey, you know, we got to take the wraps off and play him and get him ready for the playoffs because he, like you said, he has got to be there for the playoffs, and he's got to be a major factor in those playoffs. But, you know, right now, I think the plan is a sound plan, is to keep his minutes reduced and make sure he's healthy for that playoff Yeah, run. yeah exactly. And uh, uh, you, would, you would think he would be because it would be over a month that he, a uh, month and a half that he came back and everything. So you got, you got to have you know, people that say, well, they don't need him. Well, you know what? What I will do is remind people, well, they got beat last year in the playoffs because they didn't have Russell Westbrook. Yeah, and they need him this year. And, you know, and they've got the complimentary parts, too. So they should be ready to roll into the playoffs. And we'll talk a little bit later on in the program about the matchups or possible matchups or whatever. But the Thunder are doing well, and we are doing well. Al Aspect, Rick Heath with you from Sam's Optical. Two locations, one in Evan, one here on South Walker and I-240. A great place. It's a family-run business. It's a fun family-run business. Lots of friendly people here and the best selection of frames in the metro here at Sam's Optical. We'll be right back after this. And welcome back to Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath, Al Esch back from Sam's Optical on I-240 and South Walker. Great place to come. They got all the top names in frames for your eyeglass selections. If you're looking for the style or the fit that you need, come to Sam's Optical. They'll take care of you. They will guarantee that they will fit them right and they will look good when you leave here. I've got a pair and they have been fantastic for me. So come by Sam's Optical and pick out your frames for your eyeglasses next here at Sam's Optical. Al, the Thunder have had a few ups and downs. They've lost some games that they shouldn't have. Just, I mean, they shouldn't have got beat by Cleveland, shouldn't have got beat by the Lakers. But, you know, all teams go through that. Miami's gone, going through that. Indiana's going through it. The Spurs went through it early in the year, but now they've got it righted. So the Thunder are in pretty good shape for what they need to well, do. Well, the key is going to the playoffs to get everybody back who's going to be playing. Cephalosha Perkins, because you don't want to go back and start in the playoffs. Well, then we get a whole new lineup in it again. They got they got to get those healthy guys back, and you know, and play the last four or five games of the well, season. Well, see, and that's the thing about it. I mean, they don't want them back for the playoffs unless they get them back at least a week or so ahead of time, because yeah. it's hard to put them back it, into play. It, it will be difficult to do that. So, but you know, if they can't play the playoffs, they're going to be starting in the playoffs. So yeah. Uh, so, but it's been a good chance to get looks at other people. At uh, Karam Butler, who finally shot the ball well, uh, and and uh, get that get 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 it going again. Yeah, against Denver, Karam Butler, you know, shot the ball like we thought he was going to shoot the ball when they brought him in. Well, and, you know, and he's got a history of that. I mean, it's not you know, it's an abnormal history when he's not making his shots. He's a career you know shooter that has always scored. He scored well, more than twenty three points a game when he was with and, Washington along. You know, and what, a few years and what ago. they're going to need is teams for, like, like I watched the Toronto game where Toronto goes in the, the end of regulation in the first half. Time, so we're not letting Durant beat us. We're double teaming. So he passed the ball. The guys had easy shots and they missed it. People are going to double team KD. He's not going to be able to get some shots off late in games. He's going to need some other people to, to hit the shots. But you'll have Westbrook back. You Look, know. Westbrook will help. You know, Karan Butler, Derek Fisher. Those guys yeah, are going to be on the court when absolutely. it's money time. Absolutely. They will you know, be. now the other thing is Scott Brooks 
has got to do something. Now, I, you know, against that Toronto game you're talking about, they had two chances, one in regulation and one in the first overtime, with the ball and didn't get a quality That's shot. That's not Scott Brooks's fault. Well, it is. A, to, without designing a play. He did design a play. You know, he got he the gave, ball. He gave he, the ball to KD, and KD had to pass it off. Yeah, that was his play. You, you get the ball to KD, what are you going to do? Not get the ball to KD? No, you get the ball to KD, but you figure out some way for KD to get free. That, that's KD's problem. He didn't get free. They doubled, so KD did... The smart thing, pass him with a wide open four foot shot. And if you can't hit a wide open four foot shot, you got a problem. Well, that's true. But they that's still, what Scott Brooks said. He said, Desire, if they double you, KD, you pass off to the open and man. And he did that. Now, the second time, though, they didn't even get a quality shot. The first time, uh, with 19 seconds left, they didn't even and get a quality KD's shot. And that's KD's fault. That's KD's fault. Yeah. But still, Scott Brooks has got to have a better understanding of. I, of I, I, I disagree. I think KD does. I mean, why is it Scott Brooks' fault? KD's the best closer in the NBA. He's so, a, he's so the best what are you going to do in when NBA. he's double teamed? Scott Brooks says, "Get it you, to the open hey, man." Hey, Michael Jordan has been double teamed. Kobe Bryant was double teamed. I mean, and, they, and, and Kobe Bryant forces shots up all the time. He misses them. But I like KD passing it. But we've got to have the, the, the Thunder have to have somebody there that is ready and going to make that shot. And if they do, then it's a great play. But, well, uh, but it's not Scott Brooks' fault that they missed the shot. Yeah, he's got to be able to design a play where if you if they double team KD, you got to have an. And they did. KD said they when they double, he said I pass it off. He that's what KD said. That's but, what hey, the play he passed was. it off twice, and then he took the shot but, but, because he had to. But that was a, that was a design play. He said if I I'm double, agree, I, I got agree. a dish. I don't agree. Scott Brooks has got to have better. He's always been poor at designing last I, second. I, I mean, I, so so what? So with KD shooting, winning all these shots. Scott Brooks is Scott Brooks' fault? No, I didn't say that. I said because what he's got to do. Because most of the time, KD is winning games. That's brilliant, Scott Brooks, right? They're not going to let him do that in the playoffs. You just said it. They're not going to let him do that in the playoffs. And then you, then you unless get a, you come off screen okay. and do something and, and then to you get, get, it to the, get it to the open man. But they got to do something instead of just sitting out there, dribble, 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 and jack up a shot. And that's KD's fault. Well, that may be KD's fault, but Scott Brooks has got to step up there and say, hey, this, we got to do it this All way. as I know, they've won most of the games close this year. Thank you, Scott Brooks, for designing great well, plays. Thank you, KD, for being the greatest closer in the NBA today. That, I mean, to me, that's that's the one thing that he is. But you got to give Scott Brooks credit then, right? He's run some pretty good plays at the end of the game. No, he just gives the ball to KD and says, go do it. Oh, uh, <laughs> you, can, you can't have it both ways. Well, that, if, that, if, that. if they're winning the close games, uh, which they are, they're, they're, they're bringing him off screens, and that's Scott Brooks drawing up these plays. Uh, that's, I want to see that. I want to see him coming he's off He's doing screens. it all year long. No, he's just been dribbling the ball. They get the ball and clear out. Give him the ball at the top of the key and let him shoot it. And so far, he's done a damn yeah, good so, job. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> Which is a pretty good and, deal. And what's going to happen when Westbrook comes back, Westbrook's going to go, Katie, get out of the way. I'm going to win the game. <laughs> well, they'll give you two of them then. I don't hey, know. Let me tell you about a great place. Top that pizza. It's got to be your go-to place for pizza in Edmond. People, if you're driving up to Edmond, if you live in Edmond, Top That Pizza is a great place to go. It's kind of like a subway line where you go through and you pick out your, the toppings that you want. You start out with your crust. You pick the crust from three or four different kinds. Then you have sauces. You have the cheeses and then the toppings. It's a great, great uh, pizza place there at Top That Pizza in Spring Creek Plaza in Evan. Go there. You'll love the pizza at Top That Pizza. We'll be right back after this. And welcome back to Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath, Al Eschbach from Sam's Optical, I-240 and South Walker. A great place. They got all the top names in eyewear right here. Everything that you need. Ladies, if you're looking for the top fashion eyewear around, come to Sam's Optical here on I-240 and Walker. It's a great place to come. And Al found him a new place, made him look, feel a new pair of glasses, made him look even smarter than he already <laughs> yeah, <right>. is. <laughs> I think the word when they call me is dumbass. Well, no, now <laughs> Sam found a pair that made you look really, really good, Al. So, I mean, you know, you got to take that consideration. He's got that expert's okay. eye for No you. doubt, he does a great job. Yeah, hey, let me tell you about Jamil Steakhouse. They're celebrating their 50th year in business. That's right, Jamil Steakhouse on 50th and Lincoln, 50 years in business, and they've always had that great food. The appetizers, like the, the great appetizers, roses, cabbage rolls, hummus, smoked bologna ribs, and Angus steaks 
All that and more at Jamil Steakhouse, celebrating 50 years in business in Oklahoma City. Go by and say hi to Greg Gowie and his staff. They will take care of you the right way at Jamil Steakhouse and enjoy great food that's been there for over 50 years. Al, the, the Thunder are getting ready. We are, we're in agreement they need to get Tabo back and Perkins back and get them in the rotation at least. They've got, you know, they've got 10 games or so left. And they need to get those guys in for the last four or five games. And I think that's really imperative in order to get them ready and, for the and, playoffs. And one thing that is going to help, those guys aren't involved offensively. Yeah. So it's going to be easier to get them in, the, 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 get the rotation, get them back in with the chemistry. Uh, a lot easier than it was getting uh, uh, Russell Westbrook. Yeah, and Westbrook's in. getting back. I mean, we saw before they got hurt in the Raptors game, he was as explosive as ever, doing what he wanted to do and how he plays, and that made the Thunder even more explosive. Getting Karam Butler in and, and getting him comfortable with the rotation, and Derek Fisher is playing as well as Derek Fisher has played in the last five or six years. You're right. I mean, they, they got to get him back next year. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, now they're talking to him. Yeah. You know, they're, 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 they're going out. When he was out to L.A., even and, when they got beat and, by the Lakers, they and, went and, out and tried to get him in. You know what's good about this team? It, it, they like each other, and they, they bring people in that now. I mean, obviously, Jeremy Lamb isn't happy that his minutes have been slashed, and, this, and that's going to happen with any team, but this team actually likes I love the – veterans of, of like Fisher and Karam Butler. They're like coaches out there. Well, you know, and Karam Butler came in and says, you know what, he talked about KD. He is the most unselfish superstar I've ever been around. He said, I've been around a bunch. I've been around Dwayne Wade, Kobe Bryant. He said, Kevin Durant is the most unselfish superstar he's ever been around. Yeah, Durant's just special. Well, I mean, the Thunder are just blessed to have, you know, Kevin Durant uh, uh, and be that kind of player. No doubt about it. And by the way, the MVP race, it's over. That's right. Just give it to Durant right now. <laughs> it's over with. That's it's right. over. And he's earned it. Yeah, absolutely. He's earned it absolutely. big time. He's earned he it. has done so much this year to make sure that they have <laughs> You know, the, the games, to the win the games, the way they've won them. I mean, the one against Toronto where he scores 51 and scores, you know, the last 28 in the second half. You know, I mean, that's unbelievable. Yeah, it's just spectacular. Just, yeah, just yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. So, you know, they're getting ready to, to put themselves in position, you know, and we'll talk in the next segment about the possible matchups. But the only thing I think they really need to kind of tighten down on is a little bit more on defense. I agree. I, I totally agree with that, especially the perimeter defense. Yeah, the perimeter defense hasn't been good all year. No, no, you know? they're just giving up too many uh, open threes, not getting back sometimes on D like they need to. But I think in the in, in the playoffs, you play with a little bit more sense of urgency on defense. Well, you know, and I think it means more, so then they're going to give more effort because it's you know it's a long season, you know, and you can't always come up and just you know give that hundred and percent effort on defense, you know, night after night after night. And I, I think a key here in this stretch run is to make sure you don't fall into the three position. Yeah. Uh, because if you fall into the three position, you're going to have to have, to win the West, probably you're going to have to win a series, road series at the Clippers in that San Antonio. So you want to at least second place be worse uh, on the thing. So. Uh, it's going to be some great basketball. I'm just so pumped up about the playoffs. and uh, Well, just the last month of, of the season. You know, the yeah. last month of the season but, and getting all the jockeying, the position and all that for, for you know, who, who's going to be playing who and matchups who, here and there. I mean, right now, you know, they're, the top four teams, uh, you know, right now are still, you know, playing well in the West. And so they don't know where it's all going to no, fall. Yeah, I think we know the top four, but the order, I mean, it's going to be the bottom four is what it's yes. so close you know, and, and everything. May, and there may be, uh, a, you know, one jump in the other and yeah. third and fourth. I, I don't think there's any doubt the top 14 in, in any order are San Antonio, the Thunder, the Clippers, and, and, and the Rockets. Yeah, those are all good. They, they're they're, 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 they're going to get home court in the first round. And they, you know, for right now, uh, th those teams are playing better than anybody else in the NBA, you know. So it's, it's, it's first round, they're going to get people in there, and it's going to be interesting to find out, and we'll, we'll find out more about that. Let me tell you about a new Mexican food place in Norman. If you're looking for real, authentic Mexican food, go to El Ranchero Mexican Restaurant at 3042 South Class and Boulevard in Norman. They feature authentic family recipes, including rellenos, enchiladas, fajitas, and more. Come in and try their dinner specials. They have dinner specials every night at El Ranchero Mexican Restaurant in Norman. 
3042 South Classen in Norman. So go by for real Mexican food and have it tonight at El Ranchero Mexican Restaurant, 3042 South Classen in Norman. We'll be right back after this. Oklahoma, Eskridge Honda is having one of its best years ever, and it's only because of your response to our no-hassle, friendly way of buying a new Honda. Right now at Eskridge, you can buy a new Honda Civic LX for just $249 a month, or a new Honda CRV for just $299 a month, both with zero money down. But wait, we'll include your tag title and tax. Now that's a deal, but it's only at one place, Eskridge Honda, I-240, or EskridgeHonda.com. Hi, this is Barry Switzer, and I bet you didn't know this. I love cabbage rolls, and the best I've ever eaten were made by Rose Gowie of Tulsa. She would bring me some every time she came to Norman. Today, her son, Greg Gowie, will serve you her cabbage rolls with every entree at Jamil's Steakhouse in Oklahoma City. Stop by Jamil's at 49th and Lincoln in Oklahoma City. They've been serving up tradition and consistency for over 50 years. And oh, by the way, their steaks aren't bad either. To make it over 50 years in business, you make a lot of good decisions. The Knippelmeyer family of Knippelmeyer Chevrolet in Blanchard made a good decision over 50 years ago to offer Chevy cars and trucks the only way they knew, the right way. Lowest prices, best service, with a firm handshake for over 50 years. Knippelmeyer knows to make 50, you sell thrifty every day. Knippelmeyer Chevrolet, shake on it. I wasn't coming here to buy glasses. I was coming here to get some information to where the doctor's office was next door and just the aviance and the atmosphere. After they gave me the information I needed, I went to my eye doctor. Then I came back in and felt like I was at home. Sam's Optical for over 30 years, bringing you the best prices and service at any of Sam's locations. Are you game? Lucky Star Casino has got your game. We give away over $200,000 in jackpots every day. With over 1,000 of the loosest slot machines, along with blackjack and poker tables to keep you playing. We've got your game. With the best entertainment and live bands, we've got your show. Lucky Star Casino, Concho, Clinton, Canton, and Watonga. We've got your game. And welcome back to final segment of Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath, Al S. back here from Sam's Optical here, I-240 and Walker. Great selection of frames for you. All you have to do is bring in your prescription for your glasses, pick out a pair of frames that fit what you need. They have an excellent selection. They can even make Al and I look good. So if they can make us look good, they can make anybody look good here at Sam's Optical. A family-run business, a lot of fun, great jukebox, and they will take care of you with great customer care here at Sam's Optical. Also, Trails Golf Club in Norman. Great place for you and your family for the spring coming up right now. Give them a call at 364-3790 and talk to Kathy Hess. They have lots of membership specials right now for brand new members. Give them a call, Kathy Hess at 364-3790. Also, RainGuard Gutters. RainGuard Gutters, the premier gutter installer in Oklahoma City with four metro locations. They've been in business for over 30 years and they give you free estimates. And with four metro locations, they can get to you with that estimate fast, fast, fast. And also, they are the home of the gutter helmet. Never clean your gutters again with RainGuard gutters. And top that pizza, home of the $5 personal pan pizza. Now, we're not talking about any personal pan pizza. you got your choice from over 30 sauces. 10 or 12 cheeses, two or three different kinds of crust. Al, it's a great place at Top That Pizza. Oh, I love the place. It's, it's so good and family oriented. Yeah, and you come through, they, they got food for kids, they got salads for anybody else that likes them, plus the pizzas are great. You come through the line, you pick out your crust, you pick out the kind of sauce you want, if you want more than one sauce or, or different kind of crust. They got multiple kinds of cheeses. All of that, you go through the line for one low price. It's a great concept at Top That Pizza in Edmond, Spring Creek Plaza on 15th Street. You gotta go by and try it. You'll love it. You'll make it a regular stop at Top That Pizza. Also, Pro Power Equipment. The Honda Pro Power Equipment at 7405 South May Avenue, where the landscaping and mowing pros buy their equipment. If they buy it there, you know that they're buying the best, most durable, best equipment 
Names like Honda, Gravely, Cub Cadet, Still, and Shindawa. All that professional power equipment available at Honda Pro Power Equipment, 7405 South May Avenue in Oklahoma City. And also El Ranchero Restaurant. I just talked about it a while ago, but it's a great place. Authentic family recipes available in a new restaurant in Norman, 3042 South Classen Boulevard in Norman. El Ranchero Mexican Restaurant, great, great Mexican food. Authentic Mexican food now in Norman. Now let's talk about the, uh, the, the ratings I have now for uh, the, the NBA. Of course, there's no, there's no surprise whatsoever. Spurs are number one. Uh, Missed a 14-game uh, winning streak. Uh, the closest game during that 14-game streak, six points. Uh, so they're, they're not even going down to buzzer winning games. Uh, they're just typical Popovich team. It, people like keep on counting them out. When are they going to learn not to? Yeah, I mean, Popovich doesn't care what anybody else thinks. He sits his guys, his stars, whenever he wants to, and it works out for him. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. and, and now they're gelling when you should gel. Uh, gosh, I think a, a month ago, we did, oh, there's no way. They had all the injuries. They looked terrible. And, yeah, had uh, Parker out, Ginobili out, and, and Leonard out. Uh, yeah, and then yeah, Tim Duncan, uh, the fountain of youth. This, this guy is, is just... Looks like he can go on forever. Yeah, you know he's he's the second oldest guy in the world next to uh, Derek Fisher. I know, I know. <laughs> and they're still playing and at such a high level. Absolutely, that's a tribute to those kind of guys. Of course, now the Clippers are number two, winners of twelve or thirteen, and Chris Paul is just, is just dominating people with his assists. He is, but Blake Griffin's carrying the team. Blake yes, he Griffin is. is. There are some saying he may finish third in the voting for MVP. Right behind, uh, behind uh, LeBron. Uh, behind, yeah, LeBron will be two, Katie will be one. So, yeah. Uh, and of course, they even when and Paul's a great player, but even when he got hurt, Blake Griffin carried the team. He you, he'd become a sensational player. Well, he's becoming an all-around player. I mean, people when they first came in, I can do his dunk. Well, they've shown he's shown now he can do whatever he needs to do on a basketball court and do it well. Yeah, he faces up, hits a, the jump shot. He's a He's so athletic, rebounding, and and remember, they get JJ Redick back. Uh, it's going to make them even better. Well, they got a good bench. They they, they fortified they themselves they, with the bench with Grange getting Grange and Big Baby Davis. Yeah, so they're they're going to be formidable to say the A least. Absolutely. Number three, Thunder. We know the Thunder are doing well and what they're doing. That that's no surprise to us. You know, it's maybe the only surprise is they're number three. But hey, when you're playing as well as the Clippers and the Spurs, it's no bad thing. And, to be and that's three. okay. You're gonna if you if you take care of business, you will be the number two team. Hey, uh, hey did any surprise? The number four team is Houston. Yeah, uh, they're 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 better than I thought they were gonna be. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dwight Howard has become a great team player for them. Uh, Harden is, is is terrific. They can shoot the ball. How good they are defensively? I don't know. They're pretty good defensive. Being sorry with Howard, but. They're pretty good. Well, you know, then the next next five or number five is Indianapolis, number six Miami, number seven Dallas, and Suns. They're uh, uh, they're juggling it there. A lot of NBA people are saying, "Hey, the Suns, you know what? They're just having fun. Not even worrying. When the playoffs start, boom, they're going to be gone." Yeah. Going. Then you got then you got Memphis, the team nobody wants to face in the first round. No, you don't want to. You face don't want them. anywhere near those. Hey, that's going to do it. For this week's Thunder Weekly, Rick Heath, Al Esbeck from Sam's Optical. Let me tell you about a wonderful man I want to pay tribute to, and that's George Russell. He was a true Oklahoma fan. He will be missed by everyone that knew him. God bless you, George Russell, a true Sooner fan. That's going to do it. We'll see you next time on Thunder Weekly. 16 Fisher to inbound it. Here's Lamb. Knocked away by Johnson. Durant is going to pull up for the lead, and he drills it. Kevin Durant with 51. 119, 118, 1.7 seconds left here in double overtime. Wow. You want to talk... MVP, how about this? Amir Johnson doing everything he can. He knocks the ball away. He's right up on Durant. Doesn't make a difference. Wow! 51 points.